Guten Tag and welcome back to It's All About Opera. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jamie and this is my intro into opera history. Here I tell you about different operas and their composers, hoping to spread my love for opera. Please keep watching and let me introduce you to Ludwig van Beethoven and his opera Fidelio. Ludwig van Beethoven was a classical composer from the early 1800s. He is best known for his symphonies and sonatas, writing for kings and princes all around Europe. In roughly 1801, he became deaf, which obviously created problems for his career. He continued writing music, though, often having the legs cut off of his piano and setting it on the floor so he could feel the vibrations. One of his many accomplishments is his opera Fidelio. He started composing Fidelio, originally called Leonore, in 1805 when he was commissioned by Emmanuel Skiki Kaider, a librettist, to compose music for one of his pieces. Beethoven found he did not like the man's libretto and only worked on it for a month before quitting. He ended up using some of the earlier music from this piece on Joseph Sodnider's libretto for Fidelio. Fidelio was rewritten three times before Beethoven was happy with the final product. Fidelio is a German opera and was the only opera Beethoven ever wrote. For our cast, we have Leonore, a young woman whose husband has disappeared. When the opera opens, she has been in disguise as a young man named Fidelio for two years. Leonore is a kind, strong woman who still has hope that one day she will find her love again. Floristan is Leonore's husband who has been imprisoned for two years and thought dead. Though only seen for a small part of the opera, Floristan is a strong man who still hopes to one day see his wife again. Rocco is the jailer of the prison and is Leonore's boss. A gentleman who does his job even when he disagrees with the task. Pizarro is our villain who does whatever he can to get ahead in life including imprisoning innocent men. Pizarro is a demanding man who does what he can to hide his secrets. Marceline is Rocco's daughter and is in love with Fidelio. Marceline is a sweet girl who acts as the lady of the house and dreams of one day of sharing a home with Fidelio. And finally, we have Jacquino, who suffers from a broken heart and hopes to one day marry Marceline. Shakino is one of Rocco's assistants and displays a very caring and protective character. Now on to the opera. The story of Fidelio begins two years before the opera starts, with Don Florestan thrown into prison for trying to speak out against wrongdoings of Don Pizarro. He is believed to be dead. The opera opens to Giacchino once again asking the annoyed Marcelina to marry him. She says that she once loved him, but not since she met Fidelio, one of her father's workers. Unknown to Marcelina, Fidelio is actually Leonor, Florestan's wife in disguise. Leonor has never believed that her husband was dead and has tried everything to find him. Rocco believes that Fidelio's awkward behavior around his daughter is because Fidelio is in love with Marcelina as well. Therefore, he lets them become engaged, telling them that they will not be happy unless they have money to provide for themselves. Fidelio agrees, but says that there is something he wants more than gold, and that is to be trusted enough by Rocco to take him down into the dungeon with him. Rocco replies that there is a prisoner down there that he is not allowed to reveal. Fidelio finally convinces him to take her down with him, and hopes that maybe that prisoner is her husband. Meanwhile, Pizarro has received news that a minister of the king is coming for a surprise inspection. He must quickly decide on what to do with Florestan. He comes up with a plot to have him murdered. Reluctantly, Rocco agrees to help with Pizarro's plot and recruits Fidelio's help. Fidelio is a wonderful, beautiful story of love and hope, one where music emphasizes the story with songs like Kom Hof Nung,
Ach, Rick in Offenbrück. Ach, man nicht aus Gold erneben? Oh, wer nicht schon mit der weint? Und Gott wird Dirken hier. It's a must see for anyone who likes romance. Thank you for joining me today for a sneak peek into Beethoven's Fidelio. There is so much more to see and learn, not only about Fidelio, but the hundreds of other operas out there. Please post in the comments below if there are any others you wish to see. To see the full opera Fidelio, please see the link in the description below. Don't forget to check out my other operas, Lenos de Figaro and La Centarentola, and my introduction to opera. Thank you again. Alivide sin.